So the final thing we will be adding to this wreath are these champagne colored fern picks. These came from Hobby Lobby. They have all sorts of colors. And all I did is I broke it in half. So each pick I broke in half. And we'll begin placing some of these. So like I said before, we don't want to hide or mask our magnolia leaves. So whenever we're placing these, we will either lift the magnolia leaf or place it somewhere else that it's not going to cover it. And it's not going to take a whole bunch of these. And now what we'll do is we'll par partially break down another pick into even smaller segments. And those pieces we can place in any of the negative spaces where a little too much greenery is showing. So as I said before, we did kind of fluff the wreath in a certain way so that the central portion of the wreath is filled in a little bit more, which means you're going to have to come back in with a little decoration here and there and place it so it's slightly hidden. So it looks like the reindeer is coming out of the wreath and not stuck on top of it. And notice right here, I'm not following that strategic, strategic pattern where we're placing all of the, the picks in the same direction. And that is just because it'll look best kind of swirling in front like that. So keep in mind when designing, there's no rule set in stone. It's whatever looks best. But if you follow the majority of the pattern, your wreath will be beautiful. So again, right up here, there's a little negative space. We'll just tuck in a little pick. And then our final piece. We'll go right there. All right, you guys. So I consider this wreath complete, but something that I'd focus on the most and to take away from this design is to make sure your reindeer is kind of shooting out of the wreath so it looks like he's coming out of it and not just sitting flat against it. And another thing is if you're incorporating any ornaments or any lotus pods, try to go with the look and the feel of the wreath. Try to match it to everything you're placing on it. That way it doesn't stand out too much. You don't want to have anything standing out too much or is too bold for this design. Because you do want the focal point to be the reindeer. So keep in mind, uh, you don't want your ornaments to be too, too shiny. And they do carry the mercury glass ornaments and all sorts of colors at Hobby Lobby as well. But here's the final wreath. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all in the next video.